All right, a table saw is a fantastic tool to have in the woodworking shop, uh, but the reality is, is that you have to make sure that they're set properly in order to function right. So we're gonna cover a couple of quick checks that you can do on your saw to make sure it's cutting optimally. You're not worrying about back cutting or worried about wood getting grabbed and thrown back at you. All of this has to do with safety, but of course it also has to do with the final product. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so the first thing we're going to check is that the blade is running parallel to this miter slot. Now a lot of times this setting is done uh, at the factory uh, and you oftentimes don't have to mess around with it, but if you realize uh, in using your tools that you know there's something wrong, um, you can check this out. Uh, there should be information in the manual about how to repair this, but we're going to just go through the test uh, so you can see whether or not you have a problem or not. So the first step is going to be to raise the blade all the way up. Uh, we want to check to make sure that the blade is square to the table. So we're just going to drop a square on here quickly. And look at that, nice and straight. So that's good. The next step we're going to do is we're going to pick a tooth. Now if you have a crosscut blade and you've got alternating bevels and stuff, pick one where the bevel is closest to your miter gauge here. And I'm just going to put a little arrow to indicate which tooth it is that I'm working with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a combination square. Now there are other tools that you can use. Um, you can use a dial indicator with a special jig that goes in here, but for most, most times I find this is just as accurate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the miter slot and then I'm going to bring it up to the tooth and then I'm going to move the saw blade back and forth and you can hear okay I'm, I'm hitting that blade a little bit so I'm just going to dial this back just a whisper and try again okay now what I want it to do is I want it to rub just ever so slightly so that I can hear it okay that's perfect. Now I want to make sure that the reference face here is pushed right up against here, against the miter slot, so that it's not wobbling around. And then I'm just going to verify, yes, that's perfect. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my uh, combination square to the other end of the saw blade, and I'm going to find that tooth right here, and then I'm going to see if it touches here. And now it's just touching lightly, okay, which means that these two positions are identical. So that tells me that the saw table is seated properly on here. Now, um, if you run into a situation where you don't, I highly recommend looking at the instructions that came with your saw, or you can contact the manufacturer, whichever you want to do. But a lot of times this is a very simple thing to remedy. Um, a lot of times it's just a simple matter of four bolts that hold the table on. You can loosen three of those bolts and then leave the other one tight, and then you can just lightly tap on your table to pivot one way or the other, depending on what measurement you're getting. Um, you can pivot one way or the other and then bring that into straight and tighten it back up again. This is a pretty rare occurrence though. Uh, normally from the factory it comes set the way you want it. Great, now that we know that the saw blade is aligned with the miter slot, the other thing we want to check is to make sure that the fence is also parallel to the blade. Now that we know that the miter slot is parallel to the blade, we can use that to make sure that the fence is good. Now again, there's all kinds of different ways and tools that you can buy to do this, but I find that um, my finger, I know that I can feel about half a thousandth of an inch. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fence, I'm going to slide it over to the miter slot, and then I'm just going to use my finger to see when it's flush, and you'll be surprised how quickly and easily you can feel that, and then I'm going to lock it into place. So I know I'm flush here, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my finger over here and feel that I'm flush over here on this side. Now these feel the same to me, which is good, so that fence is nice and straight. 
However, if it wasn't nice and straight, again, into your manual, I hope you didn't throw it away, into your manual and see what it takes to adjust your fence so that it's parallel. Now in a lot of cases with a cabinet saw like this, what you're going to see is that there's going to be an Allen key, um, uh, sorry, an, an Allen bolt right here, and that is going to connect, if we flip this over, that's going to connect to these pads here on the side. And what that does is it's going to exert force one way or the other, depending on which one you do. So if your fence is towed out, which means it's going away from the blade, then you're going to have to tighten this one. If it's towed in, which is the really dangerous one by the way, because towing in means that you're going to back cut, you're going to be cutting with the back side of the blade, and then that's when things can get pinched and chucked back at you. We don't want that. But of course you're using, um, you're using the splitter that came with the saw so you don't have to worry about it as much. But you're going to make these adjustments, and then when you put this fence back on, you're going to verify once again that you're in good shape. They're nice and flush, they're nice and flush, and then you don't have to worry about back cutting. Right, so those are a couple of simple checks that are going to allow you to make sure that your saw is running the way it should. You don't ever want to be back cutting, and you want to make sure that this is running perfectly parallel to the blade. Thanks for checking it out.